During an interview with NPR, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly summed up what until recently, very recently, was a mainstream position on illegal immigration. Most of the people who sneak in are probably decent people. They're just looking for a better life. But that doesn't mean their arrival here is good for America. Listen. Let me step back and, and tell you that the vast majority of the people that move illegally into the United States are not bad people. They're not criminals. They're not MS-13. But they're also not people that would easily assimilate into the United States. They're uh, overwhelmingly rural people. In the countries they come from, fourth, fifth, sixth grade educations are kind of the norm. They're coming here for a reason, and I sympathize with the reason. But the laws are the laws. Is there anything you disagree with in there? Like pretty much anything anyone connected to Trump says these days, though, Kelly's remarks set off an instant outrage bomb. MSNBC's military analyst denounced General Kelly as, quote, racist and openly bigoted and speculated he would have been kicked out of the Marine Corps for saying something so awful. Well, let's hope that's not true, because what General Kelly said was provably true, and truth is still a defense and always will be. According to the U.N., the average American receives about 13 years of education. In Mexico, that number is 8.6 years. In El Salvador, it's 6.5 years. In Guatemala, it's 6.3. According to the Migration Poly Institute, fully 70 percent of Salvadoran immigrants here have limited English proficiency. There are, of course, exceptions to that. But overall, it's a badly educated group that comes here illegally. That might not have been a big deal 100 years ago when a humming industrial economy needed workers for its factories. But our factories are closed, long closed. Technology is now in the process of eliminating millions more blue-collar jobs in America. And the last thing we need is more low-skilled immigration. Any economist can tell you that. We can't even take care of our own low-skilled workers. Hundreds of thousands of them are now sleeping outside tonight and every night. They're homeless. As for assimilation, you've been to Miami recently? But don't take our word for it. Here's what Pew's research says. Fully 95% of American Hispanics, according to Pew, quote, say it is important that future generations of Hispanics living in the U.S. be able to speak Spanish. Even by the third and fourth generation, about half of Hispanic parents here still speak English, rather Spanish, to their children. That's not immoral, obviously, but it's definitely not assimilation. Shut up, says MSNBC. We don't want to hear the facts. We need the votes. Be quiet or we'll shout you down as a thought criminal. Roll Reyes is an attorney and a columnist, and he says Kelly's remarks were somehow unacceptable. But I don't know how you can say that, Rule, since they're strictly speaking true. I mean, I'm citing U.N. numbers. What he said is right. Right. Well, well, to me, in my view, uh, Kelly's statement, we have to look at, at the whole of it in context. And in that sense, it is factually as well as philosophically uh, problematic. Factually, look, he starts off by saying that all, all these people who are coming in through the southern border, that they are not all MS-13. Yes, that's true. He says they're not all, you know, going to commit crimes. That, that is true. And yeah. that is provable by various studies and statistics on immigrants and criminality. Then he goes through uh, uh, then his statement that these people who are coming in, that immigrants are not current waves of immigrants, are not assimilating into the United States. And that is not true. Now, you mentioned this Pew study talking about how uh, pe Hispanic parents, grandparents believe it's very important for their children and grandchildren to speak Spanish. And that is absolutely correct. That same study finds that just like every other wave of immigrants into this country, these Latino immigrants, the first generation, yes, by and large, they speak Spanish. Parents tend to be bilingual. By the third generation, the Spanish is no longer the dominant language. Roll, since, since you're, you're English wading dominant, into the deep end of the line. So that Stop. pretty much hey, lines hey, up with what hold on. past waves of immigrants have Since you're done. throwing facts around, you're kind of the deep end of the fact pool here. What percentage of households in California right now speak Spanish at home? Do you know? Offhand, no, I don't. But I think there's a over, healthy number stop, of stop, Spanish let me, oh, slow, slow, slow down. Let me tell you, over 40. Right. So that's not assimilation. Again, I'm not against speaking Spanish. I'm not against bilingualism. What I'm saying is that's the opposite of the way we have always done immigration in the past, in which we say to new immigrants, you must adopt our culture and our language, and you have right. to do it thoroughly. We're not doing that now. So it's not assimilation. You didn't address what he said about education levels because it's demonstrably true. Right. People no, who come no, over our I, southern I, border have lower education. No, no. Okay, so but why in a post-industrial economy when blue-collar jobs are going away, why wouldn't we only admit software engineers or people who have skills that we need now? What are we doing? Okay. I, uh, you and I, I think we have different ideas. So, do, you know, different viewpoint on assimilation. I, I personally think there's nothing wrong with people speaking Spanish or being bilingual in whatever language they want at home. In this instance, what John Kelly was talking about, he was talking about the, the jumping off point for this conversation was this influx of people at our southern border, why they're implementing a zero tolerance party 
policy for these migrants in and in, in the process having a, a procedure where we will be set the u.s government will be separating women from children now, please answer my a, excuse please me. answer my question yes. no excuse I'm, me I, I, oh, I'm no excuse me no then please right. answer crisply why would you at a time when blue-collar jobs are disappearing import people with lower education levels than native-born americans right. why wouldn't you import people who can do the jobs that we need done, not the jobs right. that are going away. It's well, really simple. There's, there's two points here. Number one, because U.S. unemployment is at a historic low. I believe it's a 17-year low. Hispanic unemployment is at an all-time low. African-American unemployment is at a historic low. So our economy does have room to grow, and immigrants are the people who can drive parts of our economy. But second, this is the point I was trying to make about Kelly's not comments an answer. in the context. He, what, what the discussion is, is about we have to go back to the law. The, our asylum law makes no provision for what level of education people have, whether or not they can speak English, what the, certain, the parameters of how many people we're going to allow under asylum. It just involves a credible fear test. And whether you know, you don't care, actually. You don't, I've, I've reached a conclusion. You don't care whether this is good for the country, whether it's good for its economy, whether it's good for our culture. You just don't care because you're totally ignoring the central point. Technology is destroying a lot of jobs. The people we're importing right now can't do the new jobs. You don't care. You don't care. You just blow right past them. No big deal. No, well, what I'm saying is I would go back to the law in this context, which is our asylum law. And that says that these people who are okay. coming from Central America, they have the legal right, even though they are unauthorized. Well, they have migrants, the legal right. They as have the legal right as foreign to, present, citizens. to okay. present themselves to Border they Patrol. Have a, and apply what about my for, right as an American? Right, we're, out of, we're out of time. Thank, Thank you. you, Roel. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Uh,